Hey, 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 Tim Marks, the Viking, coming at you from the garage. And if you're a new viewer, you might be asking, what's this guy doing in his garage? Well, we know that a lot of successful businesses started in somebody's garage, so that's why we're here today, and we'll continue this series from the garage. I want to talk to you today about Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki is a best-selling business author several times over, and his three keys to wealth, we'll just go through this real quick. The term he likes to use is rich, the people that want to become rich. Nothing wrong with that sound, as long as you do good things with it. Here's what he said, there's three things that we should focus on doing if we're gonna become rich, wealthy. Long-term vision, we have to have a long-term vision of where we're gonna go, what does life look like, what is this business, what is this organization I'm creating, what does this look like long-term? Longer than two weeks, I think he means, longer than six months. So many people today, they work for the next paycheck. Well, I get paid on the 1st and the 15th. That's my long-term vision is how long can I hold out until I get my paycheck? He's talking about something a little different than that. Robert Kiyosaki actually says that poor people work for money, rich people build assets, and then the assets throw off cash flow. So long-term vision would be telling you, you're, you're talking about building some kind of asset, a company, something that's worth something. So long-term vision longer than six months until you get it done, okay? Well, the next ties right in with the first one, delayed gratification. What are we denying ourselves so we can hit this long-term vision that we're talking about here? Don't, don't sacrifice just for sacrificing sake, just to cause pain on yourself, but as the late Zig Ziglar used to say, is this thing I'm doing, is this thing I wanna do, where I wanna spend my time, does this take me further or closer to or further from my major objective in life here. Closer to or further from. Remember that on Sesame Street? You are either near or far. Near or far. So it do, does this thing help me? Check this picture out. I don't know when, when this was taken, but look at this picture. Jeff Bezos, at the time of this photo, was worth $30 billion, $30 billion. So I'm pretty sure you could afford a nicer car than a 1996 Honda Accord. Nothing wrong with a Honda Accord, but that's how focused this guy was in delayed gratification. He didn't care about what people think, okay? And the last one is utilize the power of compounding. At some point in time, this thing, this asset, this organization you're building, this leadership engine, whatever it is, are you gonna see the power of compounding? Is it gonna take off and be something bigger, better, stronger than what you actually created? A great example of this would be Bill Gates. You know, when, when they wrote the original software for Microsoft and they stamped it out on CDs many times over, right? That is the power of compounding. Warren Buffett says he uses money to get the power of compounding, but he also says that it takes a while. It, you have to understand as an investor, it takes some time to put money into something, put capital into something, then you have to wait for it to compound. So. Depending on what, what industry you're in, what market you're in, et cetera, et cetera, the compounding can happen faster. You know, if you have some kind of massive training system, that's why I love what I do. We have a great training system and helps people create compounding effect in their life. Depending on what it is you're doing, uh, these things can happen faster or slower, okay? Here's the point. I think every great leader, successful leader would agree with these, at least in principle, and there are certainly are other things, but long-term vision, delayed gratification, utilize the power of compounding. Those are the keys, some of the keys to wealth, and I hope you're following. The Viking is over and out. Share this if you liked it. Subscribe at the bottom. Love it.